What's up everyone? Today we're going to be looking at Decron's Death Corridor update, so let's get right into it. First things first, let's look at the changes that were made. Uh, first change is that the dungeon was moved to Deneb from Ardeca, and in addition to that, the name of the NPC was changed from Butler Alfredo to Butler Alfredo Death Corridor. Second, the amount of rounds were changed from 30 to 15. This overall just made the dungeon a lot quicker and more efficient. Third, if you need to get yourself a new circulation emblem, it is reduced from 500 Argates to 300 Argates, which is great. In addition to that, you get a free one from uh, Marielle by completing a quest where you just talk to her and then talk to the NPC butler. Fourth, and probably the best part of the update, is the enhancement to the succession rate for the emblem itself. You can see those up on the screen here. Um, overall, this is just going to make getting the plus five circulation emblem way easier. And in addition to that, it'll make it much easier to get that to craft your snowflake emblem uh, if that's what you're going for. So, that being said, what did I think of the dungeon overall? First off, when you first go in, there is a lever you can interact with that'll give you buffs, either attack buffs or defense buffs. Uh, they're both very useful. Um, this round that I ran through, I opted to go for the defense buffs, just because you get a little more HP and resistance, which is nice. Now, the dungeon overall feels very similar to how it used to feel, although, just like it said in the update, it just kind of made it more efficient and expedited. Um... It is very noticeable to be doing only 15 rounds instead of 13 rounds, or I'm sorry, instead of 30 rounds, which is, which is great, because honestly, 30 rounds took a really long time. Um, the floors that you run through, or the rounds you run through overall, are exactly the same. Uh, you can fight monsters, you can run from monsters, you can run from traps, uh, you can uh, run from monsters and traps, any of the combination. Um, one quality of life update that I really liked is the lever interaction. Uh, before, you had to interact with the lever and then click on a dialogue in order to uh, activate it. Now, when you go up to these levers, you can just go ahead and click on them. It makes it a lot easier, in my opinion, and quicker, um, especially for the trap round where you're being chased. Because I used to have an issue where I was being chased by the giant ball, and it would hit me while I was interacting with the dialogue box. So, massive improvement. Um, the bosses are condensed now. You fight bosses on the 4th and the 5th round, the ninth and the 10th round, and the 14th and the 15th round. Instead of round, you know, like, uh, what is it, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So anyway, it, it just it just condenses. It makes it faster, makes it more efficient, um, allows you to get your circulation R gates quicker, uh, which is great. So, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's pretty much it. The uh, the bosses are exactly the same. Um, none, none, none of them are super challenging. Um the only one that you really have to watch out for is the, well, the, the, I think it's the, either the, I, I don't remember which boss it is, but it's the one that looks kind of like a snake, kind of like Medusa. Um, that, that one can disable your abilities. So that can be a little problematic, especially if you're not geared out. Um, and in addition to that, the final boss, which gave me trouble as well, um, has the ability to reflect your damage. So when you're fighting that boss, you just want to make sure that uh, you watch for that little reflect icon that pops up in your buff bar in the top right or wherever you have it. It's kind of like a red looking color and just don't attack while that's active. Um, and as long as you do that, the boss is not too challenging. Um, the circulation argate drop rate seems good. I have not done this dungeon in a long time. Um, so I don't know if it's been this way for a while or not, but every boss dropped me some form of circulation argate that didn't used to be the case. Um, the circulation emblem is a lot easier to upgrade now. Uh, you used to have to go to level 50 with it, and now it's only level 5. So you only need one upgrade per stage, which is pretty nice. Uh, so that should make things a lot easier. Uh, when I ran through the dungeon, I managed to get one of each type of Argate. So um, if you're doing this every day, uh, it shouldn't take you that long to get the upgrade, I think. Um, the... Uh, the... Um, the progression of that is just is just much better. I just I just think it's a lot more friendly. Um, you can only do the dungeon five times a day max. Two times are free. Three times require super passes. Um, I don't love that format. They're doing that with pretty much all the dungeons in the game. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just a way to sell super passes. Uh, but uh, you know, I have a lot stacked up anyway from events. They tend to give them away a lot. So. Uh, you should be able to run the dungeon five times a day or, you know, minimally two times a day. Even if you're not going to upgrade the emblem yourself, uh, the R gates that drop um, actually sell for a decent amount in the agency. So uh, even if you're not going for that emblem, if you're trying to make some money in-game, running this dungeon, picking up the R gates and selling them is just going to be beneficial for you overall. So, yeah. No, overall, uh, I think it's a really nice update to the dungeon. Um, and then if you are interested in upgrading the R gates... They can be upgraded at any of the blacksmiths um, in our deca. So just click on the R gate, use the circulation R gate, and you just go from there. It's uh, 
pretty simple. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I think this is a great update overall. Um, I don't like the reduction in the amount of runs, but other than that, it's pretty solid. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Questions, suggestions, as always, you can leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.